This is a vlog of watching me eat. Bought this for my son. I'm such a horrible mom. I've had like 40 of these candies. I have to stop eating them. There was a bunch of stuff that I had to replenish, and yeah, I'll show you what's in my emergency kit. I go to a bunch of different stores to replenish my emergency kit, and they include stores like TJ Maxx, Ulta, Target. I'm not going to go through everything because we would be here for five and a half hours. I am going to go over some stuff that you would probably think of, and some other things that you wouldn't think of. And this is actually what I use. Okay. So this is very similar to what you would see a flight attendant use and it's got a whole bunch of different compartments in it and the handle Oh my god, it's not a spinner which if you don't know what a spinner is you know four wheels like two and then two and then it can spin That's the only thing that I would change about it, but I really do like the case that I use so Static Art is your best friend, especially when you are using any sort of chiffon material. I like to use it when everybody is lined up to walk in the processional for the ceremony, as well as lined up to walk into the reception for an entrance. My confessional right now is that I can't put a thread through a needle, I cannot sew, it's one of the badges I did not get in Girl Scouts, oops. But there's always somebody on my team that can sew so frequently if somebody has popped a button or something's gone wrong, I have everything that they need right here for them to use. Handy dandy lint roller is actually a ring box. Bobby pins. Frequently the stylist that I work with for hair and makeup, the hairstylist will always have some bobby pins to leave some behind and those bobby pins will go missing because I don't know about you but in my life I have owned about 15,000 bobby pins and I can currently locate four. Okay so next up I have an item that you might think is only necessary if you're getting married outside. Off bug spray. I am a big fan of off because it has a ton of DEET in it. If you're one of those people that likes to repel mosquitoes and Zika with like essential lavender oils. And then it really doesn't matter what time of the year your wedding is. Some people sweat, some people are nervous, and it's just a good idea to pack some wet ones. Do not, under any circumstance, ever put gum in your emergency kit or your restroom amenity basket. People look like cows when they're chewing gum and it will ruin all of your photos. Mints. Ibuprofen, same thing as Advil. Get generic. You don't need to buy brand. That's silly. It's the same stuff. Visine. It's just in case you have any redness on your face. Just a drop of Visine on a little zit or a problem area that has popped up. It will take away all of the redness. Straws, they're great to have. I actually learned this from makeup artists because you don't want any of your lipstick coming off with like eating food and stuff. And please do eat the day of your wedding. Especially. This is an actual black bow tie. So yes, in theory, you actually have to know how to tie a bow tie. But I keep this with me because frequently there will be a groom or a groomsman or a dad or somebody where the tie doesn't match or it broke or something or whatever. And it's good just to have it on me because I can die about time. There's this great company called Hollywood. Hollywood makes a whole bunch of really cool things that are great for, in general, that's great for the females that are involved in the wedding. Bra converting clips, fashion tapes, silicone cover-ups. So they make a lot of really good stuff that I don't necessarily use it all the time and but you know this is good for like hiding those straps because you know you might have that one bridesmaid that tried on the dress and everything and then comes with the wrong bra and it's like oh. and this comes in and saves the day because I don't keep a strapless bra in every single size in my emergency kit but I do keep these. 
Another item that I have in my emergency kit for the ladies is just some eyelash glue. I have absolutely no idea how to apply eyelash glue. I never have lashes on, and if I do, it is because a gifted and talented makeup artist has put them on for me. I always have one. It's always in a new box. Obviously, if somebody uses this, somebody gets to keep it. Okay, so getting back to that whole uh, people that use that like lavender essential oil for instead of bug spray because they don't want to hurt Mother Earth or their skin, and they think that everything causes cancer. This is actually a roller for essential oil. This one is called De-Stress and it is an aromatherapy roller ball. It has lavender and citrus and nutmeg in it. So since it would be impolite of me to dump nutmeg over the bride that is freaking out. <gasps> frequently offer up something like this. This is a great little roller ball. You can put it behind the ears, you can put it on your wrist and actually just do some and you'll feel a lot better. Plus it is illegal for me to dispense Xanax, so this is the next best thing. Okay, and God forbid you actually have to deal with the weather on the day of your wedding. Have some weather protection in my emergency kit and it's three different things the first thing is actually a poncho you know bright green super super cute another thing that I like to have are toe warmers you see all those beautiful pictures on Pinterest where the couple is outside standing in the snow and then they force their entire wedding party to go stand in the snow as well it would be very nice of you to provide toe warmers and of course for maximum protection if it's really going to rain on your wedding day I recommend a big, huge umbrella. This is actually a golf umbrella, and if you come back to my vlog next week, I will have my favorites posted, and this is going to be in my favorites so that you'll hear more about them. But of course, if you wanna know where to buy them now, you can just visit the drop-down bar below. The last thing that I want to show you guys in my emergency kit, and again, not the last thing that's in my emergency kit, but I can't go through everything, otherwise we would be here for days. It's actually just like a whole thing of black socks. I can't even tell you the amount of groomsmen that have shown up to a wedding with navy blue socks or no socks at all, and they're like, oh my god, Danielle, do you have socks? Yes, I do. I do have socks. <laughs> okay guys, so that is a good amount of what is in my emergency kit. I hope that I gave you guys some ideas on what to include in yours and gave you some reasons for what I include in mine. Everything that I mentioned here is gonna be on the drop down bar below. I hope this was a lot more helpful than a whole bunch of those templates that are out there on the wedding websites that kind of give you some ideas but not all ideas and maybe you thought of something new to throw in your emergency kit. I would love to hear what is going to be in your emergency kit, especially if I didn't mention it in this vlog, so please leave your comments below. I always love adding to mine and hearing about new things that I never thought of. And maybe I'll do a second installment later in the season to tell you what is in the rest of my kit. I hope this was helpful and hopefully there will be no emergencies on your wedding day and your emergency kit will stay closed. Bye.